And then this whole narrative of like the elite reside with AEW, no shit. And them going, yeah, oh. you know, shocker. And, them, God! and everyone's saying there's no elite without the elite and the elite are on the fucking Swerve Strickland's pos- podcast going, these are like NBA level contracts. And they're talking about fucking, they were, <laughs> they were, they were thinking about maybe leaving. Are you serious? And they weighed their options and the money was, and it's like, man, these guys, Where are they were, going? there's Where no are they elite. Going? There's no elite without the elite, bro. Where are they going? There's no the elite Indies? without the elite. You guys, they were literally ready to throw their hands up and walk away over Punk, though. If that was the case, they would have shook his goddamn hand. They wouldn't have even considered offers from the other place. If there's no elite without all elite, like, they wouldn't have done that. You know what I mean? Um, So I just think that whole narrative is just, it's just goofy. I just feel like, I just feel like them being executive vice presidents is not what's best for business. Um, But either way. Can we, boys, can you believe it? They resign. Yeah, Dave, who can believe it? <laughs> so this match was what it was, the flippy shit, the super kicks, the V triggers, all good. Um, I liked when Omega teased the uh the uh fucking one winged angel on Satnam Singh. Um Sanjay Dutt after the fucking match, you know, C- Cutler gets rocked out. Thank God Sanjay rocks him out. Matt and Jeff Hardy run down, they grab the guitar. Um, sorry, this was actually during the match, whatever. Hangman comes out and he's going, I don't know if you've seen, but there's been a big announcement today that the elite have re-signed with AEW. And it's just like, okay. So tonight, yeah, Dynamite 200. Mark. Yeah, it's just like, bro, come Like, they're trying to make it to news. That's what I mean, dude. They tried to plant the seeds and make it like, oh, there could be this big where the elite going to try and hype them up. But it just didn't work because no one cares right now. Like, they're just not as hot as they were. Kenny's hot. But I just feel like the Bucks have lost so much, mo- and Paige too have lost so much momentum from all of this punk drama, and it's I feel like it's more their fault than anybody's. They just shouldn't be EVPs, you know. I just think that's an ugly look. But anyways, um, they stopped Cody. Cody was put over by Brock Lesnar, right? And did that's you what hear they, that's the Bucks. that that SummerSlam moment, which we'll get into later on? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll talk about it a little bit. Okay, later, but I'm just okay. saying. Like, Bro, that's such a fuck you. That's just a, such a fuck you to the young bucks. They were like, Cody, you won't be shit without us. He's literally fucking. I'll, I know, I'll fly out. He's the you most know, validated. Yeah, would yeah, Cody's say? the most certified yeah. in the business, man. Like of all time, and like they, dude, they cha- they had that, and like so, dude, they were, dude, I, I, I remember that when he when he made that tweet about fucking all my peers. Don't think the Rock versus Hulk Hogan or whatever is one of the greatest matches ever. It's just like, and apparently there's word coming that like Punk's New Deal is just like astronomically fucking ridiculously high. What, what, dude, this is fucking dumb. Yeah. No, no wrestler should be getting a fucking Michael Jordan contract. You know, my bad. I. No, you're right, though. You're right. These motherfuckers wear Jordans. He invented them and hasn't got paid as much as these bucks do. For a, a contract, that is. In like, one good year. For them. Com- yeah, good for them. Not like, hating. It, it, Feed your right. families. But fuck, man. Like, it's yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, it's not a good look when they're EVPs, too, though. Because it's like, at what point, like, and then Hangman's in there, not an EVP, but he's their best friend and everyone knows it. So you just know, like, it just feels cringe. Like, if he, I don't know, it feels weird to, like, make... Oh, um, this fridge. Do what's right for business, guys. But um, on that note, um, yeah. let's move along. Are we done? We're done this. Yeah. 